On the occasion of the 2016 World Water Day, we assess the causes and solutions to the global water shortage and learn about Korea's smart water management technology. Spring has arrived in Korea and there's no better way to enjoy the weather than to visit the ancient palaces, whether during the daytime or at night. Ordinary background noise in our daily lives has therapeutic effects. Learn more about the surprising power of sound. Japanese textbooks are making territorial claims over Tokyo with distorted historical information. How should Korea respond? March 22nd of each year is World Water Day. It was designated by the UN to remind people of the serious issue of water shortage. On the occasion of World Water Day 2016, we assessed the causes and solutions for the global water shortage and learned about Korea's smart water management technology. Various events were held to mark the World Water Day in Korea. UNICEF provided an opportunity for people to experience the reality of life in countries suffering from water shortage. 평소에 물의 소중함에 대해 별로 생각을 하지 않았는데 아이들이 물 뜯어 가는 과정을 간접 체험해 보니까 정말 생생하게 와닿는 것 같아요. In one program, participants walk the distance that children in countries afflicted by water shortage must walk in order to obtain water and donated drinking water. 전 세계에서 매일 5세 미만 어린이 약한 1,400명 정도가 오염된 물과 또 비위생적인 환경 때문에 목숨을 위협받고 있습니다. 물이 이렇게 소중한 것이구나 또 같이 같이 살고 있는 친구들에게 선물해 주었으면 좋겠다라는 걸 느꼈으면 좋겠습니다. The film Mad Max depicts a post-apocalyptic 22nd century in which the world is ruled by a dictator who has taken control of the water supply. But is a world in which mankind suffers from water shortage something one can find only in movies? The UN recently predicted that by 2025, 1.8 billion people will live in regions afflicted by water shortage, and two-thirds of the world's population will suffer from the lack of water. Why is the world suffering from such thirst? 전 세계적으로 지금 우리가 쓸수 있는 물은 다음 수로 한 0.7% 정도 되는데 에, 지금 현재 기후 변화 그리고 사막화, 하천 건천화 이런 것들로 어, 쓸수 있는 물량이 줄어들고 있고요. 현재 세계 인구의 약 15%인 11억 명이 어, 안전한 식수에 접근하지 못하고 있고 약 26억 명이 위생에 접근하지 못하고 있습니다. 2050년이 되면 약 39억 명이 안전한 식수에 접근하지 못할 것입니다. Korea is playing an active role in the global community's efforts to address water shortage. Starting with the construction of a hydroelectric power station in Nepal in 1992, Koika has been supporting water resources development in 50 countries worldwide for the last 25 years. It's foolish to think that water shortage is a problem only for countries in the Middle East or Africa. The water shortage phenomenon is only expected to grow worse. According to UNESCO's 2014 Water Energy Report, the world will face a 40% deficiency of water supply by 2030 if international efforts are not made to improve water management. Korea is carrying out campaigns and support projects to realize global water welfare. The project that the entire world's water industry is focusing on is the smart water management technology. The Smart Water Management Initiative is an effort to implement information processing technology to comprehensively manage data on water resources and safely provide water through the latest purification processes. By applying its strength in IT technology, Korea is contributing to the water welfare of underdeveloped or emerging countries. 64 projects in 24 countries are currently being operated based on exports of Korean technology. Projects amounting to $2 billion are also being planned in 11 countries. Implementation of smart water management enables cheaper, more efficient supply of clean water, and as such, companies overseas are showing a keen interest. 
The government has stated its resolve to promote exports overseas with specific strategies to target the Middle East and Northern Africa from a base in the UAE. Korea's water management technology, with its incorporation of IT technology, is being heralded as both a contributor to global water welfare and a major economic growth engine. Considering the issue of water shortage is expected to be a responsibility for the welfare of mankind, but also a new growth engine in a period of sluggish growth. The UK-based Global Water Initiative predicted an yearly growth rate of 4% for the world's water market, reaching a magnitude of $860 billion by 2025. With the value of water increasing, research and investment in the water industry are likewise on the rise. The theme of this year's World Water Day is water and jobs. The UN's World Water Development Report predicts that water will play an important role in creating jobs. 물 산업 측면에서는 에, 스마트 물 관리, 해수 담수화, 무슨 또 그리고 물을 이용한 헬스케어 이런 산업적으로 어, 많이 그 생각하고 또 새로운 그물물 물 관련된 성장 동력으로 경제 성장 동력으로 어, 노력을 하고 있습니다. 물은 기본적으로 경제 성장을 뒷받침하는 인프라입니다. 물 인프라 갖춰줘야 경제 성장을 견인할 수 있고 사회적인 형평성이나 사회적인 복지도 형성이 되는 겁니다. 그것 자체가 이제 큰 경제 성장과 사회 발전의 인프라가 되고요. 물에 대한 스트레스, 위기가 굉장히 커지기 때문에 그 시장 규모가 급속, 급속하게 커질 것이라는 것입니다. Water is a precious resource, but we have often been wasteful because of its easy availability. Efforts are needed from each individual to save water, but the current situation also calls for long-term resources management on a national level. March has arrived, and with it, Korea is in the midst of the spring season. People are heading outside the cities to the provinces to enjoy the warm and bright spring weather. But even in the middle of the city of Seoul, there are places that become special destinations in the springtime. They are the ancient palaces, the cradles of ancient politics. With March halfway over, the late cold spell dissipated and Korea is deep into the springtime. As the weather gets warmer, travel destinations across the country are crowded with people greeting the new season. In the southern regions especially, where spring flowers are already in bloom, various flower festivals are captivating travelers. 이렇게 오니까 사람들 표정도 너무 해맑고요. 저희도 같이 마음이 자꾸 풀리는 것 같아요. 따뜻하게. The flowers bloomed earlier than ever this year. As a result, famous flower festivals like the Apricot Blossom Festival in Gwangyang, Cheollanam, the province, have opened their gates about a week earlier than they did last year. But one doesn't need to go far to enjoy the spring in a special place. The stone wall path near Seoul City Hall is a popular destination among couples on dates thanks to the elegant atmosphere the wall creates. One might expect an ancient palace to be serene and peaceful, but a procession appears to the sounds of traditional music. It is the palace's changing of the guard ceremony. A reenactment of the transfer of duties among the royal guard in the Joseon dynasty area, the ceremony takes place three times every day. It's very different to my own culture, so it's very interesting to see. Like the culture, love, love the, culture. the changes, costumes are awesome, the building is great, beautiful. One person stands out in the procession. There's something awkward about his movements and he seems a little nervous. Actually, he's not an official performer, but a visitor participating in this ceremony. I feel uh, very excited and uh, happy to experience this kind of uh, role as a general. 
and uh, I will tell this to my friends so that they will come here and experience the way I experience today. Simply taking a walk around the palace grounds is pleasant enough, but to learn more, we recommend attending a guided tour. Seoul's ancient palaces, like Gyeongbokgung Palace, offer free guided tours not only in Korean, but in Chinese, English, and Japanese as well. Participants visit the major sites within the palace and learn about their history and background stories through professional commentary. It's a fine opportunity to enjoy the spring weather and even learn a little bit about history. Today is officially the uh, first day of spring, so I feel that. It, you can see it, <laughs> that I feel spring, and yeah, I felt it here, for sure. It's totally worth, re worth remembering because it's very different experience for me, very new, very beautiful. And I will be here for half a year, and I hope that I will bring a lot of great memories back to Poland. For a more stylish experience in the ancient palaces, one option is to take a walk while dressed in hanbok, Korea's traditional attire. All of Seoul's palaces offer free admission to anyone who is wearing hanbok. Yeah, we feel very Korean. <laughs> and uh, it's a really nice experience to try on traditional Korean clothes. Um, and uh, we're really happy to be here. So yeah, it's been amazing. With hanbok trips gaining in popularity, Hanbok rental shops near the palaces are enjoying an unprecedented growth in business. This shop, with Hanbok in beautiful hues and matching ornaments, is visited by over 100 customers every day. Hanbok은 빨간색, 핑크색, 노란색 이렇게 향연까지 색색이 있는데 이런 색들이 봄하고 잘 맞아서 사람들이 기분이 한층 더 좋아져서 많이 더 찾고 계신 것 같습니다. 예전에 비해는 한 30%에서 40% 정도 손님이 더 많이 느신 것 같습니다. But above all, perhaps the highlight of springtime palace visits is the nighttime admissions. Temporary events held mostly in the spring and autumn, tickets for the nighttime admissions are always in high demand, always sold out. The most popular spot among nighttime visitors is in front of the Gyeongyuru Pavilion. People gaze at the pavilion's dazzling lights in awe and capture the images in the cameras. Nighttime admissions to Gyeongbokgung Palace last until April 4th. Gyeobokgun to have a picnic or to walk around in the spring because today is the first day of spring. So please, everyone's welcome. In the ancient past, the palaces were home to royalty. But now, they are a resting place for ordinary citizens, a beloved nearby travel destination. From the sounds of nature to daily human activity and music, people are enveloped in a diverse atmosphere of sound. But little did we know that these sounds contained some surprising powers. The rediscovery of sound. What secrets do sounds contain? At the Suncheon Community Health Center, there is a very special space for residents. It is a sound therapy lounge. Sound therapy refers to natural therapy through the use of sound. There are six themes including stress relief, improving the immune system, and inducing sleep. Users can choose the sounds that they need. Sound 
굉장히 머리가 상쾌해져요. 정서적인 효과, 신체적인 효과, 생리적인 효과 등을 어, 우리가 꼽을 수가 있겠거든요. 특별히 뭐 우울이 있는 환자에게 어떤 특별히 계획된 그 소리를 들려주면 우울감에서 탈피할 수 있고 불안이 있는 그 대상에게 그 불안을 감소시킬 수 있는 안정적인 어, 정서를 유발하는 소리를 들려주면 은 어, 정서가 안전, 불안에서 안전한 쪽으로 바뀔 수가 있고요. Cutting paper. 이링 푸드 However, the audiovisual stimulation has therapeutic powers. ASMR is not an official academic term. However, it is gaining popularity among young people stressed by academic pressure and job seeking who use it to relax and induce sleep. 하다가나 아니면 뭐 사회생활 할때 많이 스트레스 받잖아요. ASMR을 통해서 소리를 들으면 마음도 편안해지고 스트레스 좀 풀리는 것 같아서 자주 듣곤 해요. However, there could be problems of addiction and inappropriate videos are also spreading on the internet. 오감을 풍요롭게 하는데 도움을 준다. 나중에는 그냥 중독이 돼 가지고 그 소리를 듣지 않으면은 멍해져 있으면 이때부터는 아무리 좋은 ASMR 또 마약과 같은 그런 독성을 갖게 된다는 거죠. Noise is often thought of as something we want to avoid. However, some people prefer noisy environments. This cafe, located near universities in Seoul, is usually filled with people studying or working on their laptops. Cafes are usually filled with various sounds. Why do people choose to study in these cafes instead of quiet libraries? 마우스 클릭하는 소리도 잘 주의해야 되는데 그게 어느 정도 소음이 차 있는 공간이다 보니까 사소한 것들 신경 안 써도 되니까 오히려 집중이 더잘 되는 것 같아요. A team of researchers in the U.S. reported that an appropriate level of noise helps enhance concentration and creativity compared to complete silence. This is due to the white noise effect when many sounds mix together. 이렇게 백색 소음은 소리는 있는데 의미가 하나도 없어요. 엉켜 있어가지고 소리는 있어도 평상시에 듣기 때문에 그냥 안정감 있게 듣는 거고 사람이 정막감을 해소할 수 있어요. What changes occur in the brain while listening to white noise? A brainwave scan showed activation of the theta and delta waves, which occur when one is stable and concentrating on a task. 백색 소음을 신경을 안 쓰고 자기의 생각에 아주 집중을 한다. 자기 업무에 집중을 한다. 이렇게 볼 수가 있죠. White noise also helps cover up other types of noise and is a promising solution to inter-apartment noise issues. Various sounds are being used in a wide range of applications to great positive effect. 내가 가장 편안하고 또 나를 기분 좋게 하는 나를 긍정적인 마음을 가지게 하는 그리고 나의 신체가 좀 편안하게 그리고 안정적으로 되는 상태가 되는 그런 소리를 나만의 소리를 찾아보시는 게 제일 좋겠고요. 좋은 소리만 듣고 즐거운 것만 느끼고 하는 쪽으로 이렇게 오감을 풍요롭게 하는 것이 가장 중요하다 이렇게 볼 수가 있는 거죠. Sounds can relax the body and mind while enhancing concentration. The atmosphere of sound around us is a constant force enriching our world. The Dokdo Islets are located at the easternmost tip of Korea. Japan is claiming ownership of this Korean territory. These provocations are becoming increasingly bold. How must Korea respond? A documentary film on Dokdo recently opened in theaters.
It deals with the Tokto volunteer guards who fought against Japanese invasion in the 1950s, amid the turmoil of the Korean War. Japan calls Korea's Dokdo Takeshima and claims ownership. Japan cites three arguments to support its claim. Are they reasonable at all? An official Japanese map of Japan drafted in 1897 lists Tokdo as Korean territory. Despite clear evidence that Tokdo is Korean territory, Japan's ambitions to take over continue. All eight of the middle school textbooks that will be distributed starting this year in Japan state that Tokdo is Japanese territory. Only one history textbook mentioned Dokdo in 2011. But this year, all eight textbooks touch on the topic. The Shinzo Abe administration modified the curriculum to include the claim that Tokdo is Japanese territory, being illegally occupied by Korea. The Korean government and history groups protested strongly to Japan's Tokdo provocations. Japan's defense white book has also included false claims for 11 years. Even while placing Tokdo in Korea's air defense identification zone, it argues that the islets belong to Japan. Japan's Shimane Prefecture passed a bill designating February 22nd as Takeshima Day. The Abe administration has sent high-ranking officials to the ceremony for four consecutive years. Protests against Takeshima Day were held in Japan by people fearing an excessive turn to the right. In Korea as well, protests denouncing Japan's ambitions to possess Tokdo have been ongoing. The swing to the right in Japan has brought Tokdo provocations to dangerous levels. How must the Korean government respond? <laughs> 왜곡된 이야기가 일본에서 나올 때는 정확하게 고쳐줘야 하는 거죠. 그때는 한국이 선생님의 입장에 서야 하는 것입니다. 어, 논리와 자료에 입각한 제대로 된 홍보를 하면 
일본적인 모라고 말해도 어, 한국 쪽의 논리가 압도적으로 우세하기 때문에 전혀 문제 없습니다. 궁극적으로 어, 한국, 중국, 일본의 근현대 교과서가 만들어진다면 역사나 사회 교과서가 만들어진다면 앞으로 이런 갈등들은 해소될 것이고 상대편을 이해하는 것, 상대편의 가치를 어, 존중하는 그런 교육으로 가는 것이 저는 바람직하고 바람직하다고 생각합니다. Japan's Dokdo provocations are growing bolder by the day. Measures are now urgently needed to effectively address such provocations.